hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so today i will be using the celestial tarot guys and i'm really sorry for yesterday's long intro today i will be just giving you a two minutes um intro about this deck and how i use it and what are the rituals that i perform before using this deck okay so if you're using the celestial tarot you can perform these uh, rituals or these things to kind of enhance the experience of the readings and the readings will be more accurate okay so as you can see here i have a bowl which is filled with rain water guys you can yesterday it was raining in my place so i kind of collected some rain water and if you uh, if you can collect a rain water you can collect because this uh, deck really works well okay and i have also added some salt and outside of it and i have like just kept it overnight under the moonlight okay and the celestial deck over here if you can see this deck was inspired from the greek mythology guys okay the, and the every deck has a story of its own like it has a story from the greek mythology most of the names can also be like what to say most of the names that are written on this deck are also like greek names so if you are familiar with the greek mythology and if you like uh, exploring more about it you can you can get this deck guys and also another thing about this deck is that you can connect deeply with the greek gods and with the greek goddesses if you uh, and yes guys just before starting the reading with this deck you can pray to the greek god and goddesses to kind of help you with the reading so that they can help you to kind of channel uh, channel the messages on your own and yes that is it about these gods guys and another thing about uh, this deck is that guys if you feel this deck is too powerful if you feel somewhat weird working with this deck then you can also like keep some crystals near you light a candle or like keep a bowl of salt near you or wear a salt pendant or if you do such things like if you keep the environment like that with crystals and salt and everything guys the energy will get absorbed into that and it won't affect too much so these are all of the tips that i have for you all now let us start the reading guys my lovelies so let us see what is coming up guys gemini okay gemini for your general energies gemini i can see here that today you're going to be more concerned with your money matters you're not going to be spending too much you're always going to be saving money and yes guys that is what i'm getting here and also that i can get for you here guys gemini is that you're definitely like you do have a lot of dreams but you also know what are the dreams that you can manifest and what are the dreams that are too um, high for you to manifest into your physical reality i mean like you do know uh, what you have to do you do know what you have to manifest and you do also know what you have to let go of is what i'm getting here guys okay my lovely gemini and for your person's energies what i'm getting here for you guys is that with a 10 of pentacles and i can also see here that this relationship will grow but you need to do whatever you have to to kind of make it grow guys okay you cannot sit and not do the work and expect things to just turn out well guys you have to put in work you have to do what you're supposed to and only then you will see that everything will go according to your expectations okay so that is the overall energy that i am getting here for you guys
so this is all I can see here my lovely Gemini so this relationship there is potential for it to grow but you need to put in the effort but also this person has to put in the effort guys if it's only you who's putting in the effort this cannot work out anyways again okay and that is it thank you all bye guys